Ford. The password, please. Fidelio. That's right, sir. That is the password for admittance. But may I ask, what is the password for the house? The password for the house. Yes. I'm sorry, I... I... I seem to have... forgotten it. That's unfortunate. Because here, it doesn't matter whether you have forgotten it, or if you never knew it. You will kindly remove your mask. Undressed. Get undressed. Remove your clothes. Gentlemen, please. you like us to do it for you? Stop!
as a person, and I am quite old, 73, I have a lot of, how to say, knowledge of life which is behind me. I don't know what will happen in the next future. I met so many different people, and meeting people who, you can say in English, blasé, mm -hmm. blasé no, people, or also, what yeah. this kind of cool yeah. attitude, yeah. you know, and always thinking how important I am. And, and we know everything. Uh, yeah, yeah, and we know everything. Nothing we are, never, people yeah. who cannot allow themselves to be astonished. And this yeah. attitude I don't like. I am always astonished. I like to know new things, to be impressed, and I think it's maybe, I cannot analyze my own attitude, but somewhere I am still a 12 years old uh, young boy at the beginning of the puberty, because I, or the emotions, I, I, have, I, I should behave like, uh, a, you know, old master of being known, and I cannot behave like this. I just will tell, Di directly what I think, and therefore I am not impressed with social, you know, this kind, having medals or having prizes or memberships. And I have them, and I like it, of course, I have my vanity. But it doesn't go, the same when we spoke about it, your attitude is the same. You accept the things, but you are not. It makes you not more happy having a big medal or a big prize or um, being a, a honorary doctor or this kind of thing, it's mu much more beautiful listening to Anselme condu conducting uh, Debussy la mer. Mm. Absolutely, yeah. So, yeah, absolutely. That's, that's true. Many times journalists with very much goodwill ask me from for whom you compose, and I answer, uh, the question is not adequate. I don't compose for people. I'm not interested whether they will be pleased or not. I don't compose for myself. I'm interested to doing the thing. To doing. So it's not for somebody. A businessman will always think in terms of profit. A politician will always think in terms to have more votes and to be elected, and a real scientist and a real artist is just interesting, interested to do the thing. And at the moment, and this is very pretentious to say this, that I have no pretensions. Oh, well, it is not so pretentious, I think. Um, I have the pretension that things should be played correctly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> But no, no, not to impress people, not to be important, not to... It's nothing behind, no politics. And I think, therefore, the main question which you put, why is this emotional extremism? It's this, that if you do something, you should do it.